Hey guys, welcome back to Disgaea PC. This time we're just gonna be jumping right in to uh, the next battle. And the next battle is the flashy passage, so let's do this. Ah, Prince, look! It's a portrait of my old man. Oh, so this is what Mr. Oh gosh, I can never say his name. Krajeskoy look like? Did I get that right? That's right, he was a magnificent overlord. Huh, <laughs> not even. I was ready to dethrone him myself, but he went and croaked on his own. Hey Prince, can I have it? Sure, go ahead. Come to think of it, how did he pass away? Choked on a black pretzel. Huh? <laughs> the overlord of the netherworld died by choking on a pretzel? Well, it happened, so I guess anything's possible. And this was the person I was ordered to assassinate? Oh gosh. Okay, so this... I love this uh, particular battle. As you can see, we are completely surrounded by brawlers. So many female brawlers. And these guys are only level 4. Up here, we've got level 7. And this person is level 10. So we want to um, slowly make our way through all of these guys. Now, let's see. Wind, wind, ice, okay, fire, ice, fire, all right. We're gonna wanna use some of our uh, special attacks to uh, take care of these guys. Let's see, I'm thinking I'm gonna wanna take out the guys up front here. There we go. Let's see if we can bring Laharl out here. Let's see if we can get a blade rush on these three. Okay, well that wasn't bad. That wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. Let's go ahead and bring out our own brawler. She's probably gonna get lost in the fray. This has happened to me before. Um, actually, before we do that, let's bring out Etna and Helen here and see if we can get a team attack. All right, well that's better than nothing. And they're gonna fight back and forth here for a second. Counter, counter, counter. Okay, let's go ahead and have Helen actually take this one out. Very nice. I'm gonna move Etna up a little bit. And have her take out this one. There we go. Let's turn Etna like that. I don't like the posts being where they're at. All right, who else do we have here? So we've got our two gunners. We're gonna wanna bring them out and see if we can, can we take her out? I think we can. There we go. Um, I think I kind of wanna see, can you? You can't. Never mind. here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit intern right here. Uh, the brawlers are going to, oh gosh, no, not you. I was hoping she would stay back, but apparently that's not going to happen. Let's see how much damage they do. Not enough. Now we have to sit through all of this. Alright. So the level 10 that's coming this way is going to be a problem. She is weak to ice, though, so we're going to want to take advantage of that. Let's go ahead and... I don't want to risk not being able to take her out. So let's use a skill. Make absolute positive sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and move Laharl up a little bit here. Let's see, how do I want to do this? We've got ice and fire. Let's see, ice. These two are weak to ice, so let's go ahead and hit both of them. Let's see if I get a better... No, I can't really get a better shot than that. Almost took out that one, and she leveled up. That was nice. Let's go ahead and take out... Yeah, uh, Carol here. <clears throat> see if we can uh, clear out these brawlers a little bit. We're gonna want to make room for the... Uh, that guy. The Pugilist that's coming over here. We're gonna want to make sure we're available to take her out. Um, let's go ahead and attack. Okay, that's not gonna take her out. 
but our gunners should be able to after this. What is Geronimo's level? Let's actually bring him out and let's go ahead and have him attack. Not gonna level up though. How are you? You have a lot of hit or a lot of experience that you need to gain. Okay, so let's just go ahead and have her attack him and or her and let's go ahead and have them finish this off. Okay, not bad at all. So we have a risk of possibly losing someone here, but we'll find out what happens. Let's see what occurs here. About two points to Laharl. Nice. Uh oh. Ow. We're okay. We may not be okay here. Helen might be going down. Oh, no. Helen's actually still up. We're really doing this? Okay. Alright, actually, Helen didn't go down. I'm really impressed with that. Okay, so she's weak to ice. So let me move Flan up here. I'm gonna move Geronimo. Let's see here. His hit's 130. I think he's gonna do more damage overall. We're gonna have him do Triburst. That was worth it. That was a nice amount of hits. Let's go ahead and have Flan bring us through with an ice attack. Okay, now we really need to deal uh, a little bit more with this, so let's go ahead and use an Impaler here to get Helen out of that circumstance. Um, I don't know why I want to put her right now. Uh, let's see. Weak to ice, weak to- these are all weak to ice, so I wish I had a full on ice attack for these guys, which I don't have unlocked quite yet. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move the Harl here and have him do a hurricane slash. They're gonna rearrange what's gonna happen, probably, in the next round. Uh, so let's see if I can create a little bit of a boundary here. Um, actually, you know what? You go back there and you go ahead and you should be fine. Barely, but you're fine. Okay, so I wanted to do that for a specific reason. What I'm gonna do is I do still have my cleric. Now, this is gonna be risky because my cleric's not very strong, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have him just heal Here goes. Etna and I'll bring him back. He'll be fine. I'm gonna bring Helen forward here. Who is not active? You have not acted. Let's take out Teresa, maybe. Goodbye, Teresa. All right, there we go. Let's, can you turn? Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and see how much damage she does. Not enough, but that was good. So let's go ahead and watch them do their thing. Brawlers moving forward. We're probably gonna lose Helen. We seem to lose Helen a lot anyway. So what's really new on this one? I'm not really surprised. Okay, let's move Laharl over here. I'm gonna have him do a blade rush. Um, we're not gonna do that. I have changed my mind on that one. Okay, I aspire. Ice, ice. Okay, so I'm gonna have Flan do ice on those two. Took out one of them, that was good. I'm gonna go ahead and have my brawler. Let's see, who is not doing well on? So I'm gonna have you heal, because why not? You're just standing here. here goes. We'll put him back in the box here in a second. I think he can stand here. No, he actually can't stand. All right, we'll just stay there for a second. Um, let's see here. I think we want Etna to take her out. So let's move her forward a little bit. And let's just... Really? Really, Etna? Come on! You probably got like five hit points left. Why am I not surprised? 
Um, okay. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Say goodbye to that guy. We're gonna move forward here. We've got Laharl, so we're gonna move Laharl here. And, uh, let's see if we- oh, really? Wait, with the freaking cleric? I don't need the cleric to be in the moment. Okay. Oh, the cleric's leveled up to level 5. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, so we're not gonna be, um, doing anything else here this turn for a specific reason. I want- oh, my cleric's gone. It's my cleric, that's fine. We can revive him. Uh, let's see here. So... Still want Etna to take out the other guy, this guy here. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and that actually works because Geronimo also needs the experience on that one. Alright, so we just have the brawler left. So let's use Geronimo to shoot him. Very nice. Okay, let's move up a little bit. Let's see here. I think I need to be here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using Wind Cutter on each one of these guys. So let's go ahead and do this. At least to split them up. And do some damage against them. So, let's do this. Well, you're gone. All right, so let's do another Wind Cutter. I'm gonna do it on this guy, though. Well, Harl doesn't necessarily need the experience, but I do want him to do damage, so... Ice and ice. Okay, let's see if we can get Flan up here. I don't know how close she needs to be. She now has this three attack. Okay, she needs to be a little closer than that. Let's go ahead and put her up one more. She should be safe from the other ones here. So let's go ahead and rotate, and let's see if she takes those two out. Oh! Unhappy. Mm. Okay. Nope, let's move her over here. And just finish that guy off. There we go. Nobody should move this round, so let's see what happens. Okay. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move Laharl down here. Let's go ahead and use not hurricane slash wind cutter again. Okay, this guy is weak to fire, that guy's weak to wind, so let's go ahead and move Flan here. I think we can reach. Nope, not one, one too, too far. Let's go do it again. Go ahead and use fire on this guy. Oh, I'm hoping this takes him out. Alright. End turn, sorry, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, last guy. This is also improving the wind cutters. Um, just to damage in general when you do this, so I'm not feeling too bad about this. This is a great way, this is a great um, map to do some level grinding, so just heads up if you're interested in level grinding, and at this point this is a great, this is a great one to be doing that. All the brawlers and stuff that are around are great for getting like really low level enemies, uh, or uh, allies, back up. Okay. So, done with that, we're gonna go ahead and heal up here. Ooh, we've got the blood orb. Okay, so we wanna do the same thing as usual. I'm gonna be moving most of the arms masters. Holy crap, this is great, actually. So the rarity I don't really care about. Um, rarity, I don't know what the rarity actually does. I think it increases the, I actually don't know. I don't know, you guys. Anyway, um, but we also have a manager, and I think the managers, I don't remember what the managers do, but statisticians, I believe, increase the number of uh, XP you get, so we're gonna go totally get that. Heck to the yes! Totally want that. Bring Helen back. Heal up Geronimo. Pretty good there. Um, so that item... Let me see something here. That item increases SP, so what we're gonna probably want to do... I'm gonna actually replace the common orb on Harl with the blood orb. Um, now the common orb just increases SP a little bit. Uh, let's see, who would be really good for this? Let's 
give it to the warrior. The warrior doesn't have a lot of SP, and we do want him to be able to use, or her, to be able to use some skills. So, not a bad idea to do that. And now Lahara will have a little bit more uh, SP to do his stuff, which is good because he's going to be one of our <clears throat> most useful um, skill users in general. Because you can kind of see that Wind Cutter does like three, like a line of three damage, but it's pretty strong. Uh, Blade Rush hits three, uh, Blazing Knuckle hits four if he's surrounded. So that's pretty useful. And he's going to get some more skills later on that are going to be even more useful. So that's great. Um, whereas, like, other, other characters... Eh. Like, it's important for Flan to have SP too. Um, but we're going to get some other stuff a little bit later that's going to be use more useful for her. So I'm not really going to worry about it at this point. So with all of that, I'm going to end today's episode. Next time we're going to finish up the uh, De Niro Palace. And um, I will see you guys next time.